Hello, and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Advanced Excel with Data Analysis course. Here, we will look at several different ways to create drop boxes, basically a drop down item with a bunch of different options. This way, you can enhance your analysis and your model to make it a little bit prettier and a little bit more automated. Let's turn to our Excel and see how this works. I've got the following survey or questionnaire here. This questionnaire has whatever it is, 50 questions, and I want the following answers. Excellent, great, good, okay, or poor as your option that you can select here. But instead of having you type it in, I'm going to allow you only to select within those options. So I want a drop down box to appear. I want a drop down a box to appear so that that, when you click on it, will give you those options. So let's take a look at how we'll do this. We had previously, if you recall from one of our first sections in this course here, this advanced Excel for data analysis course, we looked at data validation to allow you to only select a certain value. We'll do the similar thing here as well, but we're now going to select a list. So I want you to go to B10 and hit 